This tutorial is on the pattern fill command. You're probably familiar with the places where you would use this, anywhere you'd need a simple feature that repeats itself many times over. Examples of this might be heat sink fins, creating pin layouts for a specialised connector, or like this example, holes for a vent grill. To make a fill pan, you need a seed cut, or you can optionally create one, a boundary sketch that features are repeated within, and a sketch line to indicate initial pattern direction. You'll find fill pattern on the command manager under the linear pattern button. You can select different pattern layouts on the left hand side and specify different attributes such as instant pitch and distance from your boundary sketch. If you want to, you can also choose instances to skip, useful for perfecting symmetry or creating a blank space for things like a product logo. In this example there's one instance that's bugging me because it makes the part look non-symmetrical. The outside of it is non-symmetrical anyway, but the human eye notices non-symmetry in repeated patterns much more easily than an overall shape. I'll edit the feature and click Instances to skip, and then click on the instance I want to remove, leaving me with a symmetric looking part. That's about it. For more tutorials on SolidWorks Made Easy, please visit solidstudent.org. Thanks.